all right hello guys uh, so for today's video what we have in plan is we are going to look at wireless hacking and in wireless hacking we will be using aircrack ng suite and what we will be doing is we will be doing uh, first of all we will try to uh, enable our monitor mode for the wireless card then moving on to next what we will be doing is we will be uh, capturing the details of the access points that are near around us and what are the different devices that are being connected to that access points Third, what we will do is uh, the details that we see are we are going to fetch it through Airmon NG, then um, sorry, Aerodump NG. Uh, going on to next, we will be trying to de authenticate the users that are connected to those particular access points using uh, Air uh, Replay, Air, Air Replay NG. Yeah, I think that's what we call it, Air Replay NG. And uh, after doing that, once we get our handshake, uh, captured in the aerodump then we will go ahead and use aircrack ng to finally decrypt the password and voila so first of all there is a disclaimer this video is only for educational purposes and the networks that i'm using in here are my own i own those networks and i'm uh, allowed to perform penetration testing onto those networks please do not allow or do not perform any unethical uh, uh, activities uh, by learning this uh, from the learnings that you get from this video uh, because uh, I, I don't support any of those unethical things that you are uh, please do not do it this <laughs> that's all that's what I want to say so now just without wasting without wasting any further time let's get into it now what I will do is in the Linux new you have this normal terminal Kali Linux you have this root terminal so I'll go ahead with the root terminal first quickly I'll open this it is asking me for my Linux password I'll provide it now I am in Linux. Now what I'll do is quickly let me zoom in a little bit. Yep, here it is. Okay, so uh, first of all, what we'll go do is I'll just check what my WLAN is. Here is my WLAN, and you can see it is uh, uh, wireless adapter, and I have already set up my external wireless adapter for the just for the update to just to let you know because if you are working on this you already know that we need an external wireless adapter to work with Kali Linux inside your virtual uh, machine as I am using virtual box so I need an external adapter I have set it up it has been and my uh, network card also supports uh, monitor mode that's what we are going to need for this uh, tutorial so uh, moving forward uh, I'll have to check if monitor mode is enabled or not uh, so uh, just before doing anything else i will what i will do is uh, uh, what i'll do is i'll go ahead and uh, airmon hyphen ng and check and kill what this will do is if there are any processes that are running right now using my wlan card it will just kill them and my wlan card will be free for usage of our this task now what i'll do is i'll enable the uh, my monitor mode airmon start wlan 0 now the monitor mode is already enabled since i have already done i have already enabled it but um, this is how you do it you start wlan 0 and now if i go ahead iwconfig wlan 0 you can see here monitor mode is enabled this is what you should see in your when you type in iwconfig and with your external uh, wireless card so once we are set with this thing now our um, task with airmon is completed now we'll go ahead with aerodump aerodump uh, hyphen ng okay e e r o uh, e i r o sorry uh, e i r o d u m p hyphen ng aerodump and we'll check double and zero and i'll do here hyphen i so now what it will show me is like what are the different different access points that are around me so here you can see like these are the different access points and these are the devices that are connected and not associated so I, i'll just quickly stop this because there are just too many device details that are coming out on this screen so uh, this is the one that we will be targeting it this is the name and it is also called as ssid now you can see here the um, cipher that is being used the encryption that is being used in all of these is wpa2 um, here is the channel you can see channel is 13 for the number for the one that we are going to target and here is the bssid that is the mac address that we need to copy so i will control shift c copy this one and then i'll go ahead and 
uh, uh, go ahead and uh, just uh, dump ng uh, hyphen will be there so what i need to do is i'll give the bss id hyphen hyphen bss id uh, this one and um, i'll give the channel as what is the channel for this one is 13 okay so now if i go ahead this and it will only show me that particular device so here you can see that i am not able to see any other devices but only this access point and the devices that are being connected or disconnected to this access points so uh, what i need now is we are going to now we have all the data in our hand now what we need to do is we will going ahead and doing a de-authentication attacks on this access point and the purpose of doing this is that we will disconnecting these two devices or these two uh, devices that are connected to this uh, machine this access point so that when they uh, again connect to with this uh, we can capture our um, wba key or the handshake key so that is our main target to capture the handshake okay so uh, in order to do do that what i will be doing is um, go here i'll be just using this thing i'll quickly copy this one here because um, control shift c and Control shift D new tab I'll just quickly divide this vertically so that I have two things because in one of them I'll be doing a uh, deauthentication attack and another one I will be writing it to uh, write it down like uh, make a dump of the packets that we are uh, capturing so here is this one w zero now what I'll do is I'll just quickly go ahead and add here hyphen W to just uh, write it down and uh, what I will do is um, the hack uh, data hack data I'll uh, just give the name like the file name is hack data okay so now this uh, what now this thing this command is doing is it will be writing it will be listening to all the, uh, the um, packets that are being uh, sent between this send to this uh, access point uh, via channel number 13 and it is going to write those onto the file with starting with the name hack data now meanwhile what we need to do is we need a deauthentication attack now for deauthentication attack we, will, we are going to use a i r replay hyphen ng okay so now before uh, writing the command directly i go ahead and see uh, what do we need we need hyphen hyphen d auth for deauthentication and we will give a value zero so that it continues to go on for infinite number of times and then we will go ahead and need um, the BSS ID of this uh, device because we need to deauthenticate all the devices connected to this access point. So we are going to give the BSS ID from here. All right. So this is the BSS ID that we are going to give for that access point. So hyphen A and hyphen hyphen BSS ID. These are the two things that we are going to give. BSS ID. Control Shift O. Oh, no 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 no. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we are good. BSS ID is already there. I'll just raise all these things and okay so we have hyphen hyphen bss id and then we'll go ahead and give a hyphen uh, uh no no i we do not think we this this has to be hyphen a yeah i'm really sorry for that this is this and um, one more thing was hyphen hyphen d auth hyphen hyphen d auth uh, zero to so just run it for the time being so that we have enough time and on which interface we want to run it we want to run it on double run zero Okay, so now this seems like uh, fine to me and meanwhile I will go ahead and run this here so that we can observe like what is happening and how many devices are connected. Okay, so here you see these two devices are connected right now and once we start our attack, the authentication attack, you will observe that um, these devices are now uh, become uh, lost like these are disconnected from here and when they try to reconnect we will capture the handshake. Now I'm going to run this over here. Now you see the authentication is running and we got this WPA handshake. Now once we have that WPA handshake, we can just close this thing over here and we can stop this as well. Now remember when the authentication is running, if you just run this command or any of the access point, this is known as the DDoS attacks on wireless devices. 
until this command is executed this is very easy to do so type on any of the access points so if you are using uh, like running this command on any of the mac addresses or any of the access points then what this will do is just will disconnect all the machines that are connected to that uh, all the devices that are connected to that access point and they won't be able to authenticate into that okay so uh, meanwhile i'll close this i'll go ahead and type in ls Hmm, we do not got the data right here. Uh, something is missing. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is quickly I'll go ahead. Okay, I'm here right now. I'll go ahead and remove this hyphen i from here and I'll run that again. And just uh, something was not right there. So I'll have to run that again. Let me see if um, both the devices are displayed over here or not, and then I'll run this attack. Or I'll, I'll just go ahead and run this attack. Let's see if we are able to capture that uh, authentication uh, handshake packets. Are we able to capture or not? Uh, the authentication is running, and once this device is disconnected and tries to connect back again, the WPA handshake is captured. So now what I'll do is I'll stop the authentication. Okay, now the authentication has been stopped. Here you see nodes E A P O L. This is the one that we need. All right. So now what we'll do is we will go here and control Z this one. I go here L S this, and we can see here hack data zero two. This time we captured all the details. Now this is here the cap. This is the um, captured file or the packet text. Uh, we can use here Wireshark to view this one and what I'll do is hack uh, data 02 uh, CAP cap file. Now once I run this, uh, my Wireshark will be opened over here and as I told you what I need is EO, uh, what was that E, uh, here you can find here uh, EAPOL. So here is the one that we need and I'll click on OK. As soon as I click on OK, what you will see here is list of all the handshakes. Do you see one of four, one of four? Do you see here one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four? Once I go onto the second one, here you can see 802.1x authentication. And if we go here in the key information section, you can um, see here WPA key, WPA key data over here and all the details related to that are present over here, all right? So this is what we needed. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and try to um, crack this one. So let us just close this. This was just to show you like what we got in here, okay? So now uh, here we are done. Uh, let me just quickly uh, collapse this subterminal. Okay, now it is done. Um, it would be better that I just open a new tab. Okay, uh, right. So I am here right now. This is the ls files. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead with air crack and ng. Okay, so now before going to this, I remember that we need a word list, and for the word list, we will be using crunch to prepare um, our word list. So for that, okay, sorry, crunch. The password length will be 10, 10, 10 and 10 and hyphen D will give the like uh, D with the starting of the character and percentage uh, would be like the integers then uh, comma comma will be the caps uh, caps alphabets and then percentage I'm just giving this because um, uh, the you can see here the already defined uh, these are already defined because I already tried this before hyphen o hyphen password dot txt uh, I'll just go ahead it's creating 18 MBs of data and creating of this 18 MB of data is quite easy you go and get like in five seconds but uh, when I'll be running this with uh, okay so now what I'll do is here uh, rack hyphen ng and I'll give I'll have to give here the file that uh, we captured that is having the handshake details and then I'll give here the word list of um, the passwords now when I start this attack 
it will now calculate like it will go through all those data and uh, meanwhile i am just pausing this video because it is taking like 23 minutes and once uh, it is about to get that uh, decrypted password i'll just enable this one and from there on uh, we will see and we will identify what to do further and meanwhile i am just pausing this video for now okay so meanwhile it is running i'll give you an overview about crunch and how we can utilize it i'll just start, uh, spread this terminal vertically here only okay so let me just uh, let that run over there i'll just zoom into this okay so now here how crunch works is here uh, crunch uh, we can give like minimum two words or maximum like four words and here you can give uh, what are all the letters that you want uh, so it is small then there is caps then there is integers then there are symbols and you give here like output files and uh, here you give like data dts dot txt and you click here enter and you can I'm just, I'm just stopping it just to show you like here this is how it gives you data so now if, if i just run this one over here and let us see how much data it produces for us okay so now dtas.txt is created ls okay so all i'll do is i'll go ahead and see what dtas has for us okay and you can see here using just all the data that we provided it created our dictionary so this is how we can use crunch right now so okay it is in the caps okay while we were doing that here we got our password and you can see this is the password i will just uh, collapse this subterminal and try to zoom into this all right so here you can see we cracked this password and this is made up of the two words red and d4an and wi-fi so this is the correct password that i already said and i created a dictionary just in front of you so i just give a brief introduction about uh, crunch uh, i would be making a separate video about that in later parts okay so till then thank you